Hey, this is Professor Triplett, and this is my amazing Mr. Bill model. Okay, it's really not that amazing, but I want to show you how to get it into Sketchfab with colors. Okay, before we leave Maya, I want to note um, for anybody who's putting this in the Sketchfab that my character face is the positive Z. You can see this little blue tick right here um, in the corner in the Z. And the character is facing the positive direction of the Z. That's important so, uh, for Sketchfab because if you if you bring your Sketchfab model in and it comes in like this, that means you had it facing in the X. So just making that note. So I'm going to select everything. I'm going to go File, Export Selection, and you want to change. You want to make sure this is on your FBX export, which is like fifth from the bottom on mine. Might be different on yours, but FBX export. If you don't see that FBX, FBX export, you may need to go into Windows, Settings, Preferences, and Plugin Manager, and you may have to turn it on. And I believe it's all the way towards the bottom right here. It says FBX Maya, and you want to click Load It and Auto Load uh, if you don't see it in your list. Okay. Um, but once that's on, you know, select everything, export selection, make sure this is on FBX. Um, I'm going to save it over my other file. I had already exported it. So I'm going to hit export selection. Yes. And then I'm just going to go and jump into Sketchfab here. Upload. Choose my file. There's my FBX. Open. Continue. Give it a second. And I'll just say um, test model. You would want to write something more just uh, you know descriptive Maya uh, modeling I don't know something like that continue it's gonna load it up all right looks a little funny um, so let's go ahead and see if we can uh, fix this up so let's go into 3d settings right here this middle button. Just click on that and give it a hot second. It'll open up. All right. So uh, the first thing that you may notice is that they have these tabs up on top, and you can change stuff from like shadeless. We don't want that really lit. Uh, there's all kinds of different settings here you're going to play with if you want to, but the main ones that uh, I'm going to show you are how to change your lighting. So this lighting is a little bit weird. Um, you can change to any of these uh, pre-made lighting sources. Uh, these are basically like HDRs that are uh, uh, spherical type uh, lighting situations. So you get different lighting. And then you can change the orientation so it kind of rotates the lights. So they're facing the right direction. You can lower the brightness a little bit if they're a little bit too hot. So there we go. That's a little bit better. Uh, light intensity is still kind of kind of hot there. I can just turn it down if I want. That's pretty good. We don't need to mess with it much more than that. All right. So let's go into our materials. Um, we it came in with the materials, which is fine. But you may say, oh, these are flat. I want them to be a little glossy or something. Right here's your list of materials. So whatever materials you had in the object. They should come in in this list. So for instance, let's go to the lips first. I'm gonna go ahead and show you that you can actually go into color here and you could change the color of these to be whatever you like. Okay, so we're gonna leave it at red. You can turn it to black just by pulling this down. Um, you can go ahead and change this to, it doesn't matter if it's on roughness or glossiness here, right now it's on glossiness, but you can just go ahead and raise the glossiness if you want, if you want it to be a little bit shiny. Um, metalness will make it look like a, more like a metal. Uh, specular is actually turning up these, this is what controls the overall spec. Uh, it's typically at like a middle point, so it's fine. Uh, and, and there's all kinds of other settings in here that you can, if you had, you know, an ambient occlusion map or a displacement map or a bump map or whatever, uh, you can load all those through here. Uh, so um, let's see, let's just do the eyes then. And let's uh, actually, let's do the pupils is what I mean. Let's make those a little shiny. 
because you imagine the pupils are usually shiny like that. And what the heck, let's do the eyes too. So, a little more, there we go, something like that. Okay, now we just save the settings. Um, there's also other stuff in here if you ever want to play with, um, you know, post-processing and whatnot. Um, I like to turn on ambient occlusion. And so let's just go ahead and save the settings after that. And now let's go to exit or you can go to publish. I'll just publish it and close that. Now I can exit. There we go. Looks a little bit better. It's really terrible looking actually. Oh man. Okay, so um, embed right here, you just click on this embed button and then copy this text. So copy and you can come into your website. And so I'm on my week four page. I can go ahead and pull in an embed code uh, icon right there. Click inside of here, hit edit code and paste in that that code hit publish and there you go now your sketchfab model is loaded and you can see them right inside your website pretty cool and you could still play with the settings and stuff um, well I shouldn't say settings you can play with the model inspector so you can you can change uh, a few things like if you want to look at your um, wireframe and such you can do that right through here like this so there you go all right so that's it for this one just want to show you how you can play around a little bit and get your thing into sketchfab with colors thanks for watching